Hi everyone, my name is Larissa and today we're going to do a chia workout. As usual, I'm using my ankle braces or elastic bandages and two water bottles, which are going to be used as weights. So in this workout, we're going to both do some strength exercises. That's why we need water bottles. It's just light additional weight for us to work with. And we're going to improve our cardiovascular system so it's kind of a cardio slash strength workout today but it's short and sweet so you shouldn't get too tired as usual I have also prepared a glass of water to keep sipping it throughout the workout and not get dehydrated okay let's start extend up inhale and down exhale inhale up exhale down Inhale up, extend down, okay good, now just keep stretching your back out, you can move to one side, stretch one side of the back more and to the other side, keep going to the left and to the right. Stretch the sides more to the right and to the left. So in this exercise try to look up to the ceiling, shoulders down, back straight up and just bend into the side. You can use the chair to stabilize yourself. Okay, now we are going to do circles with our chest. One direction and the other direction keep doing circles warming up our back okay now we're going to stretch out our neck and shoulders again so as you can see I just placed my palms on my head and bringing the shoulder blades together, inhaling, going up and extending, going down. Okay, extend your arms out. Imagine as if someone is pulling you in both directions. Wrists down now. And you can feel a good stretch in your arms. Now doing some circular motions with your wrists. Keep going, one direction, we're warming up everything, including our wrists, and the other direction. Because of course we're going to involve our wrists too and strengthen them. Okay, inhale up, extend up, interlock your fingers. Do a little twist to the right and to the left, shoulder blades together, shoulders down, extend up, back straight. Exhale, twist, inhale, go forward, and exhale, twist. Okay, very good. Now we're doing circular motions with our arms. And back. Okay. Rotating the shoulders, shoulder rolls back. We need to warm up real well before we start doing strength exercises. Okay, and forward. Keep going. Okay, good. Now extending the arms down, opening them up, we're going to stretch out our neck I don't know about you but my neck is always complaining <laughs> maybe because I'm not moving enough so I always have to do some stretch and strengthening exercises for the neck therefore I'm trying to introduce them into each routine okay now we're going to sit 
extend the arms and go in side to side you can make more space in between your legs put them apart a little more so that you are stable on the chair and keep going okay now we're going to warm up our pelvis rotating the leg outside laterally and we are going to switch direction and go inside keep rotating warming up the pelvis the hips okay the other leg same way out and in keep going if you can't do as many repetitions that's fine just do as many as you can inhale up exhale okay now we're going to start doing some strength exercises take your bottles water bottles and we're going to bring the shoulder blades together and back this is a great exercise to strengthen the shoulders when you are bringing the bottles in you inhale and then exhale when they bring them apart now pulsing movements as usual we're going to do 10 repetitions for each move now we're going to bring them together and to the side involving more muscles Water bottles are a great way to start doing strength exercises because they're light but it's still additional weight so if you have never done any strength if you have never done exercises with weights that's a great way to start but even if you are doing weight exercises sometimes you might be feeling weaker so you can just use them as a weight but not as an intense way to exercise okay let's relax and circular motions with your wrists just to relax them have a few sips of water and we are going to put our bottles a little bit aside extend one leg and bend it and go with your torso towards the leg so this exercise is strengthening our abs and it will pump our heart a little bit Also try to keep your shoulder blades together, back straight, working the upper half of our body, but also the quadriceps are working actually because you need to keep the leg in the air and bending it. Okay, back to the bottles, opening the arms, opening the chest inhale and then when we're exhaling we're bringing the arms together inhale open exhale close okay keep repeating don't push your arms too much back keep 90 degrees in the arms and now we're gonna lift the arms up lifting them up don't bring your shoulders up keep them down remind them down and we're just lifting the arms up okay put the water bottles down lift one leg and extend it 
So again, this is a great exercise to strengthen the quadriceps. If you are having trouble with lifting up your body from the chair, standing up from the chair, this is a great way to start strengthening your quadricep muscles, which are very important for this kind of movement. And hold. And the other leg. This exercise is also great to get rid of the knee pain. So whenever I have knee pain, I know I need to strengthen these muscles and this exercise is really good for that. So keep extending. And hold. Okay, good. Now relax a little bit. And we're going to do another move with the legs. Just bringing them to the side. As you can see, these are variations of movements that you can do either on the floor or standing up, but on a chair. Because I know that for many people with CMT, it's difficult to be doing exercises while standing. Some people uh, left comments that it's difficult to even get on the floor to do exercises. So this is an alternative for you to just sit on the chair and do the exercises that you need. Strengthen the leg muscles, the upper body, so that you can stand up from the chair more easily. Okay. Inhale up, exhale down. Okay, just a little bit of a breather. And now we're going to march. Just marching on the chair. Again, increasing our heart rate. This is a cardio move. But by lifting up the legs and the arms, moving the arms, you can really increase your heart rate, depending on how active you are in this move. Keep going. Because we're marching on the chair, we're not putting too much weight on the ankles, which in our case are quite weak and unstable. So this is a great alternative to marching on the spot. And now you can just lift your legs up and run. This is how we run on the chair. <laughs> and this move really increases your heart rate and strengthens the abs as well because you really need to stabilize those abs to be able to do that without kind of falling all the way back on the chair and back okay inhale exhale a little breather and now back to the water bottles so we're going to work our biceps a little bit keep the arms in one spot and just keep extending them you will feel how your biceps are being uh, worked, I mean, uh, a tensing. This is a great exercise for the biceps. So you should be bent forward with your back straight and hold. And we're pulsing. Just a few pulses here, not too many. Okay. Put the water bottles down, have a few sips of water. A little bit more of a breather. And now we're going to lift the legs up, extend, bring them back and down. This again is working your quadricep muscles as well as your abs. You can be holding on to the chair. Don't fall again, don't fall with your back all the way back to the chair back. Try to keep the back up. If you cannot do both legs, you can just do one leg. And if you cannot lift it up that much, just lift as much as you can. But if you can, Try to lift both legs and extend them up. Okay. Now we are changing the move a little bit. In 
inhale, exhale, inhale, down. Bring the knees in, out, in again, down. This is a more difficult exercise and now you can really feel how the abs are working. So once the legs are going out, your back is also going out. But again, don't relax it on the back of your chair. Keep everything tense, try to keep everything tense. This is a really difficult one but it's working multiple muscles and it's really good. Okay, breathe. Inhale up. Inhale, try to stretch out. Exhale, okay, a little bit of a break. And we can do subtle twists to one side and to the other side. Shake your hands, have a few more water sips, sips of water. Okay, back to water bottles. Now we're going to work the wrists. So, of course, just like the feet and ankles, in CMT, wrists get weaker with time, with the progression of the disease. So it's really important to strengthen them. And I am planning to make a workout specifically for strengthening the wrists but of course introducing this kind of exercises into your normal workout full body workout is a good idea is important so that's why i decided to do that and if it's too much for you to do it with the water bottles just drop them do it without anything just moving the wrists up and down like that okay now we're going to bend forward, back straight, and lift our arms up, walk in the back, lift the arms up, you, can, you should feel how the back is working. So the easy version is just to lift the arms like that without any weights, we're still working our muscles, it's just easier this way, and hold. Now we're going to swim, arms back and up again, back and up again. And as you can see, I'm rotating the wrists a little bit too. So in addition to the back and the shoulders, we're working some smaller muscles in the arm. Okay, you're doing great. <laughs> a few more exercises. Take the water bottles and that's another variation of that exercise. We lift the arms and now we are using the bottles as well. We are bringing the shoulder blades together. If this is too much, again, drop the water bottles, do it without them. Bring them together, back straight look down at the floor don't strain your neck okay very good put the water bottles on the floor and exhale relax roll your back look up extend up let's do a little twist to the side, back straight, look back, use your arm as a lever a little, now we want to try and stand up from the chair, so if this is difficult for you, you can use the chair of course with the handles and use handles as a support when you stand up otherwise try doing this just standing up and down it's 
So you can get to this part if you can or keep doing all the previous exercises and just stop there. But for those who can stand up, try to do that. Now we're trying not to use the chair and we're, not, we're trying not to sit on the chair but just use it as a guide. So as you can see I stretched my arms out because this is easier for me to hold the balance. You can also stretch your arms to the side but it's a bit more difficult now. And you can try to touch the chair with your butt or you can sit on it even, relax for a second and go up. This is an easier version and the most difficult version would be to uh, lift the arms up and do the same but I'm not going to do it in this routine. Okay, a few more moves with the bottles. So you can also take bottles in your arms, put them like this on the shoulders and stand up and down again. That's another variation. And we can lift a leg to the side. So we can be strengthening the legs like this. As you can see, I'm also losing balance, but I'm trying to introduce more challenging exercises into each routine, which are challenging for me as well. And of course, you can completely skip this part, or you can try and do it with me. We are strengthening the gluteus medius muscle here. It's a very important muscle, including for those who are experiencing knee pain, which is very counterintuitive, but it actually is true. Sometimes the weak gluteus medius muscle is the reason why the knee is hurting. Okay, well done. A little break and have a few sips of water. Inhale up. Exhale down final stretch so put your one your right leg on the left leg and you can push the right knee with your arms a little bit down like I'm doing don't push too much but you should be feeling a good stretch in your buttocks and bend forward if you can well done great job today Even a short workout like that, a 20 minute workout that is working many muscles is very important, is very good for keeping the strength, keeping the flexibility and improving the cardiovascular system. And this you can virtually do almost every day, maybe every other day. Or every day especially if you're not using the bottles keep stretching the other leg now okay now we're going to stretch the quadricep muscles yeah you should make sure you are sitting comfortably for this kind of move push your knee down you should you can push the pelvis forward to improve the stretch. You can do it standing or laying on one side of your body also. But because we're doing everything on the chair, this is the most convenient way right now. And now we're extending the leg and trying to stretch the hamstring muscles. And again, I'm pushing my foot out. I keep mentioning every workout video, our feet, feet with CMT people usually roll inward. So we're trying to roll it out when we're stretching, when we're doing stretch, when we're doing exercises to correct for that kind of anatomical fall that we have. Okay, let's stretch the other leg. Push the knee down, pelvis forward, extend your back, keep your back straight. your foot 
towards yourself you can stretch the toes as well if you want Stretch out your arms like that, interlock them, push your chest forward. I really like using the chair mat for this purpose. Inhale, push your chest forward and do it again. You can change the interlocking of your fingers. Stretching the thumb and the other arm. And stretching the thumb. Okay, great. You've done a great job. Congratulations on this completed workout today. Inhale, exhale. Bye-bye.